So the scrap ferries arrived last night. Brought my latest project. Bought sight on scene. Guy delivered it. What a mistake. What a mistake. So this is the latest project. It's a little Toyota SDK4 skid steer. Little one ton mini that I bought sight on scene. Uh, the advert said just needs the throttle cable and the radiator connected. Yeah. I got a feeling someone was lying somewhere. Anyway. The uh, story is, the original engine was ran without water and seized up. Yeah, seized up anyway. That's what's left of it. All four tyres are flat. Someone has transplanted a little Iziki engine into it. They've done an okay job in the mounts. But they put the pump in at a funny angle as a result of that. Some of the pipes aren't actually connected up properly. These two pipes look like they were for the bucket. Are completely rotten through. There's one there that's completely gone. So we'll have to figure out where they go. It's going to need an entire new wire now. All the controls are stuck solid. Naturally. release for the bucket. Also stuck. Bucket's in surprisingly good shape. So I suppose that's a plus. Probably gonna need a new roll bar though. Something's telling me it yeah, might need a new cap. Yeah. Um, two more flat tires. Rams look alright. I mean there's a couple of scuffs in the front. But I'm sure we can make it work. I hope we can make it work. Cabs now off, give us a little bit of a better view of what we're working for. I think the best thing to do is assume that the engine is running in some way or another, because why would you go to the brother of putting new engine mounts and mounting a donor engine in if it didn't work at all? So I think we'll start with removing these control arms that are slightly stuck, and we'll take the pedals out as well remove any other controls, free them all up, put them back together then next thing we'll put the radiator on plumb up the engine see if the engine runs and try and figure out what to do about this missing exhaust 
I have no idea what we'll do about that, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, this is today's progress. We had to come out of the neat little corner because we just hadn't the room to work at it. We've got it lifted up on some blocks because we had to get in here to get those control rods on dump so that we can release the foot plate. And once I get the foot plate out, I'll lift the back up level and take the wheels off and check out the drives. Okay, here's where we are at the minute. We've made an awful mess of the floor, but we're getting things apart. The floor plate's out, the drive handles are off, and everything's stripped in there. The front wheels are off, and we're sitting up in blocks. But we have found one alarming issue. When I went to lift it, I noticed a puddle of oil under this back wheel. And then when I took a closer look at the back wheel, the back wheel's covered in hydraulic oil. And it looks like it's coming from in there. So I'll we'll have to take this wheel off and see what's in behind it and hopefully the seals aren't too badly damaged. Well there's your problem. Someone has wrapped a piece of rope and got it stuck around the axle. And I guarantee you that has bust the seals which has left the whole thing like that. Alright, this is where we are with Project Skid Steer. All the wheels are off, all the controls have been removed, uh, a couple of bad hydraulic pipes have been removed. We found a leak on this drive motor that we're going to have to fix. Engine has to be got started, that'll be the next video. These two drive motors seem okay, leak wise. And we've got a big pile of parts on the floor that all need freeing up. And I think that's about it for now. Next job, get it started and then start putting it all back together. <laughs> 